Hey, you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilted Crafts with SEK. I hope everyone is doing well. All right, you guys, SEK been blocking. I've been strawberry patching. All right, family, which one is your favorite? I am having a blast over here learning how to do strawberries. Okay, you guys, so which one do you like best, the wide one or the tall one? Okay, so as you can see, they both have two types of stems. Um... The one on the right is the easy one. The one on the left is just a little bit more challenging. It's not hard. I know this is a big strawberry over here on my left side. So this is probably going to be one of my first um, wall hangings as far as a strawberry. So um, I definitely did a lot of freestyling with both blocks. Just experimenting. I did enjoy doing um both this one here is my favorite because i was wanting to offset the seams and do like brick settings and this one over here i was trying to line up my seams which in some areas i had problems <laughs> so i started to shift it around mix it up make it work you know sck the crazy quilts and crafter always make it work so um I, I really love this one. I'm going to possibly use this right here as a backing. Sorry about that, you guys. Kind of like a tablecloth um, diner um, look. So I'm sure I'm going to use that on the one on the left side because it is a fat quarter. I may need a little bit more... Um, inches on this fat quarter being that the one on the left is kind of tall and what i wanted to do is kind of like self bind it instead of adding a binding strip that is my goal so i'm sure i could find similar fabric like this at hobby lobby i may make a trip there tomorrow today is a rainy uh cool gloomy day it's a great day to be blocking so that's what essie is doing today i worked earlier today so now i am blocking so again this is the uh bonnie and camille um fat quarter bundle that i'm using and i think i may go into this fat quarter bundle a little bit more i definitely don't want to wind up with too many scraps so i want to make sure i'm getting usage from all of these fat quarters because it is a beautiful um fabric line and all the colorways are just so so pretty so i think i'm gonna keep it going with the 10 and a half inch blocks um of strawberries and i may make maybe 12 more i'm gonna see but like i said i really in, am enjoying making these um, larger blocks because i do like large blocks so this is probably going to be some of my go-to throughout the summer months working with some big blocks i am going to get back to my barnstorm sampler i may even try to do some cutting for block number six i think i'm going to i may do that today i probably starch i think that's what i'm going to do start some fabrics so i can get back to the barnstorm sampler i don't want to fall off the wagon with that i want to stay consistent and um like i said before it is definitely helping me and a lot of errors so got to get back to barn star stampler but again as needed a break so i took a break to learn how to make strawberries so um i've heard people in the quilt world said they use 12 blocks to make a quilt and i'm sure that is possible if you do some big large sashing and maybe some big borders y'all know i like big borders so i may get away with that but i'm still undecided if i want to make a big quilt or if I want to break it into maybe uh, maybe four, between four and six runners to where I can actually share um, my craft more with um, people using the strawberries. So, y'all make sure y'all comment below. Let me know which block you like. Um, comment below and let me know about the fabric that I just showed you guys. I'll give y'all a glimpse of it again as far as backing. So I think I'm going to use this right here. I really like that. It's pretty. 
and um oh let me show y'all this you guys so y'all see i used um the same polka dot uh fabric that i i used on the 10 inch blocks here and then i had leftover fabric over here from uh one of the barn star stars the uh barn one of the, the sampler box i had fabric left over and they were like two and a half inch blocks so i decided to go ahead and use that being that it had that theme of all the vegetables right there so i thought that went pretty cool with it so you can see where i mixed match and made it real scrappy so these blocks are super duper scrappy and again i really really enjoyed doing them and i'm going to continue doing them so one of my blocks fell that one is falling now but um so let me give you guys another look at this one so all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this show and tell comment below and let me know if you guys ever done um strawberry blocks before because this is definitely my beginner strawberry blocks so thank you so much for tuning into my channel i hope you guys enjoyed this show and tell i will see you guys on the next video happy crafting keep on blocking baby <laughs> see you guys so peace